Um, I'm going to talk about PodFest and kind of what that is. Um, in Florida, we started this little group on a, at a meetup, August 5th, 2013. And I know I've been here before. For those of you who haven't heard me, PodFest is a community of content creators, podcasters. And we started with 13 people at a little uh, uh, cafe called Mimi's. Um, and it was a really fun time. Steve Cherubino taught about PodFest. And we said, you know what? We should, um, you could advance it, Tyler. I don't know why it's not working for me there. Uh, we should do some workshops. And we took, uh, I took Steve Cherubino, he, that's the gentleman right there. And I took him on the road and I said, I need you to teach podcasting to everybody you know. So we started teaching podcasting all over the state of Florida. And then um, we, we basically created the first ever PodFest because all these people started their podcast and they needed help. And the cool part was they lived locally, but their podcast reached globally. So literally, like, we started having, like, national experts in every little room that we traveled to popping off. And then we brought them all together for the first ever PodFest in Tampa uh, at a little hotel. And one of uh, the year two, we doubled in size. We had about 200 people there uh, at that event. And that's the next slide. This is not working either, Tyler. So um, year two, and we all got together. The funny part was the people that traveled from out of town, they would ask me the same question. Remember, we're in Tampa. There is no zoning. They'd say, how come there's a strip club next to the hotel? And I would say, well, every hotel in Tampa has like a strip club down the street. They, but I didn't understand from their viewpoint that was odd. You know what I mean? From someone who lives in Tampa, you don't notice it because you just become accustomed to it. But it, it was the running joke. We helped Jessica Kupferman start. She podcast, so we wanted to use PodFest as an agent for, for change. And then um, we actually started a, a documentary film. Next slide, uh, Tyler. Um, and The Messengers, and we got distribution. This actually, this group actually helped us because we went all around the state and created the first ever documentary about the industry of podcasting. It's now on YouTube, free of charge. Um, much like LA, our distributor went out of business uh, a few years back, so we, we took it back and put it up on YouTube free of charge for everybody. So it was really great. Uh, from there, we went to move the, our conference to Orlando. We said, you know what? Orlando is more of the international hub of Florida for this kind of stuff, especially people traveling, and it doubled the size of PodFest. As of last year, we were the only event in our uh, community to really get an event off, and you'll see on the picture, we had over um, 2,000 attendees. And the next slide, Tyler. Um, uh, oh, next one after that. You could just jump. That's me at Million Cups. Uh, so that was this. This was five days before the shutdown. So we were very fortunate. Uh, for those of you that have been in business, timing is probably the most important part uh, of everything. And I've had the other kind of timing where it doesn't go your way. This was like one of those like really lucky timing instances. Uh, we knew when we were doing this event, it will be the last event any of us will attend for a very long time. Um, and then after that, you know, everything kind of shut down. So what we did was we transitioned from an in-person community. We said, you know what, we have a really great community. We think we could do good on the virtual side. And you'll see in the next slide, we have, uh, we brought everybody together. So in August of 2020, as well as March 2021, we held PodFest Global. We had over 5,000 podcasters. The first event, we had over 300 speakers. Like this gentleman, um, Doug, he has a beer. Uh, he does. Um, he sells tools and beer distribution, and he talks about. Um, he talks about, kind of. He drinks beer while he talks about the beer bu business, and he's got a really great show. Uh, the cool part about us bringing everybody together, you'll see in the next slide, we actually achieved uh, a Guinness World Record for largest virtual event in the world for podcasters. Now, I want to be very clear. There's a difference between podcasters and fans. There's not a lot of active podcasters. You could get 5,000 fans on something, but to get active content creators that are podcasting, it's actually a very small pool of people. Uh, although uh, records will show there's 2.3 million active podcasts, not active, Podcasters listed, only a quarter million of those are active. Uh, and the, the metric we use is posted in the last 90 days or so. So it's actually a very small pool of active content creators. Uh, so you'll see um, in our next slide, we have uh, really uh, been able to bridge the gap. So this is one of our speakers coming in from Russia, and she is the VP of a company that is global, and they do um, CastBox. CastBox is a player. And the next uh, uh, presenter, Hala, used CastBox to grow her show to 10,000 subscribers. So we found all these sources uh, of how people could grow their shows very quickly. And then we bring them all together through our, um, 
our events. You'll see in the next chapter, people give us really great um, feedback that's uh, you know all over the place. Next one, Tyler, it's fine. The other story about PodFest is we've helped launch some of the largest tools in our industry. PodMatch, the gentleman read my book, Start Ugly. He quit his job and created PodMatch. This is at PodFest last year, I think, or two years ago. This is now the largest matching service for people that want to be. So if you want to get on a podcast, go to podmatch.com. It's free. Uh, the other one is Squadcast. They didn't launch, but we were the beta test community that helped them get their legs under them. Now they're huge. Squadcast is huge. We also helped launch Cinema Vos, which is a dual language uh, Spanish and English uh, voiceover conference. Um, that's Neil Gilarte. He's the reason why we're in Orlando. And you'll see in the next slide we have, uh, this is our city planner of Tampa. He is now the top drone podcaster. He came to PodFest year one. He started a drone show. He's about to retire. He has a full-time living being one of the top influencers in the world talking about drones. Why would a city planner be interested in drones? It reshapes the city, right? The way, so that's why he came in and he wanted to do two ideas. One was for boomers and we all said, don't do that, do this one. Uh, and it took off just from a niche perspective. That's kind of where we come in. And then on the next slide, the, uh, the, I think this is my last slide. Uh, last year during the shutdown, we had this gentleman, Patrick Kelly. He's part of our Million Cups in Tampa. He was part of the produce industry, but he had a show called Millennial Boom. And I said to him, why don't you start the produce industry podcast? And this is what he asked me. I get asked all the time. Am I allowed to use that name? I'm like, who gives permission? Half these companies do what they do. So he started the Produce Industry Podcast, and now he's the number one podcaster. He makes a full-time living off his podcast. He was a commodities broker for fruits and stuff. So he's the top dog now because of the name. I want to be very clear. Sometimes the name, uh, it, it's the industry, right? It's everything. Uh, my wife does um, meditation for women. She started this show two years ago. She now has a network. She's the largest in the world. So if you type in meditation women, her podcast comes up. And then this is someone that was selling Medicare insurance, Medicaid or whatever it was. She started Medicare Nation, became the number one expert overnight because she started her podcast. So what happened was all the free consulting she would give away, now people pay her hourly for it. So she books out hourly for the stuff she used to give away for free. Um, I think that's uh, one minute, yeah. Our next event, so we've had a lot of trouble navigating venues and events this year. Believe it or not, last year was easier because you didn't have a choice. It was all virtual. Uh, this year, you have to deal with a lot of, we live in Florida, so Floridians are uh, at a different pace than the rest of the country in different ways, okay? So I actually asked someone that, that's coming to my event, what percentage of Floridians do you think is vaccinated? The answer was 10%. So... I don't know what's, I don't watch news, so I don't know what they're saying, but for my buddy that randomly pays attention in Ohio to think that we're 10% vaccinated, there's definitely a disconnect. So anyways, um, and I hear it from sponsors because I talk to them. Uh, so I, I go, we're all doing great. We're having meetings and, and you know, following everything and everything's good. So this is our next in-person event. It's gonna be held at the Amelie Arena, which is our uh, hockey rink for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, we are limited attendees because we'll be in the suites. We're not taking up the ice and everything. So we're in like the Chase Lounge, Fire Stick, if you're familiar. Um, the cool part is we have a sister conference on the other side of it that's a blockchain Bitcoin conference. So anyone that comes to PodFest gets a free ticket to that. So if you want to learn about NFTs and wander off over there, you can. So it's kind of a dual. It's a really cool thing that we've worked out. Uh, but we'll be covering YouTube and podcasting. This is not your beginner conference. Because we're limited in size, it's all the veterans. So it's almost like saying, hey, back in the day, you want to meet Oprah and Dr. Phil, and they're all hanging out? This is the conference. We're limited to 150 people. So we're halfway sold out already, um, and we're really excited. If you go to the next slide, uh, yeah, that, we'll, be in this, we'll be like in this area up here. And our after party will be this entire deck. It's really cool. We found a sponsor to cover it, one of the blockchain guys paying a lot of money for it. So anyway, uh, next one. So I'm here to raise more awareness. I'm looking to work with different groups to know that we're out there. And if you go to the last slide, we actually just launched this newsletter a month ago. It's become the number one newsletter for podcasting. This is full information. We even put job postings that people are hiring. It's called the podfestexpo.com forward slash messenger. There's no, there's like sponsored spots, but we're not selling anything. It's like, if you want to know about the industry, tomorrow this goes out. So you're watching today's tomorrow. We talk about the Facebook outage and kind of, the impact it has and what you need to do about it for your own sake as a content creator. So that's my, that's my piece. Very good. Big round of applause. That may have been the most exciting.